Pilot Alexander, how are you doing today? Hey Karim, good afternoon, good afternoon everyone. Hope you're all doing well guys. Welcome to this uh, new aviation knowledge video. <laughs> good. Casual video. Yeah, of course, always casual and brief and to the point. Absolutely. Uh, how is flying going? You still... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Let's you... keep it for another video. <laughs> you... you will know soon, all of you. <laughs> you already know, but they don't. Yeah, uh, sure. I'm back with another topic, interesting okay. one as All usual. Right. Absolutely. Okay, today we're going to be talking about ETOPS. So, would you please let's start by what does ETOPS stand for? Okay, ETOPS uh, is a very very large subject. Indeed. Uh, it covers, as usual, many fields. Uh, therefore, we try to summarize it uh, in order to give you uh, the necessary information for pilot students and uh, and aviation lovers. So I'm not going to go in details because it's, it's quite heavy. Anyway, ETOPS stands for um, Extended Range Twin Engine Operation Performance and Standards. It's ETOPS. And uh, what is it exactly? I mean, could you please give us a small overview? Yes, absolutely. It is a set of rules and regulations which allow twin engine aircraft to fly long distances that were previously uh, off limits and restricted only to three and four engine aircrafts. All right, cool. And how is this ETOPS regulation implemented in the first place? Well, Karim, before, uh, all twin-engine aircrafts were limited to 60 minutes from an alternate airport throughout their flights. So basically, they take off from a departure uh, airport going to a destination. They must remain within 60 minutes, the circle that you can see now, from the alternates that are en route. And why is that? Well, should one engine fail during the flight, the other engine is capable of flying the aircraft only for one hour. So that was before. For okay. example, you've had uh, flights between New York and London operated only by uh, four engine aircraft or uh, tri engine aircraft such as uh, DC 10 or MD 11 still flying today. I see it. Some, I, I mean, I saw it. Beautiful aircraft. Absolutely. I saw it in the uh, Frankfurt Airport Lufthansa. God, I think it's yeah, the cargo. Beautiful. Really, really nice. All right, that was before, and how about the time being? So, um, the technology of today, the new aviation era, and the new jet engines that are on the market uh, today are way more reliable. Therefore, we do consider that the engine failure during the flight is not much of a concern, and an aircraft with one engine can fly way more than one hour, and you will see it later, uh, way more than one hour. So it, it, is, it is very, very interesting. In fact, you know, Karim, in 1985, the first ETOP certification was granted to a Boeing 767 flying from Boston to Paris. And uh, it flew transatlantic, uh, being within 120 minutes away from, an, uh, from any alternate, any en route alternate. And that was basically the first ETOPS flight because before it was operated by four engines, like we said. All right, this brings us to the next question. Which airplanes have the longest ETOPS rating? So, as we said, ETOPS is twin engine operations. Therefore, the Airbus A380, for example, the Boeing 747, the Airbus A340, etc., are not concerned by these regulations. If you remember, I used to follow on a flight radar. When I used to fly to Sydney, we fly south, very far from any alternate airport. Um, we've got ETOPS 75 which means it of 75 minutes up to it of 370 today. So 370 minutes, which makes six hours and 10 minutes away from any en route alternate on one engine. Imagine that at cruising speed of the, the one engine. This is absolutely amazing. Which aircraft is that? Ah, the beautiful Airbus A350. All right, before transferring to the E380, you used to fly 330, right? So did you fly it up any time? Yes, it happened a few times, uh, but I flew uh, the ETOP sectors. And in fact, look, there is the limit uh, given by the, by the manufacturer, which is here, Airbus, and the limit provided by the company that you work for that is usually more restrictive uh, than the manufacturer, of course, uh, in order to improve safety. So um, the Airbus A380, we were limited to 120 minutes uh, from an en route alternate airport that was our ETOPS limitation which is 
837 nautical miles from any uh, en route alternate airport. When we had no suitable alternate uh, en route uh, airport, we used to increase uh, this time and distance by 15%. So instead of 120 minutes, it becomes 138 minutes, which allows us to go even further away uh, from, uh, from, from the, the alternates. And 963 nautical miles from uh, any airport. And that brings us to a question for you, Karim, and uh, for all of you. What is the difference between an adequate uh, en route alternate airport and a suitable alternate airport? Thank you very much, Karim. Thank, Thank you all for of you. Thank answering you for the question. Thank you very much. See you soon.